hey, I'm excited to try the new interactive components from Figma. And for this little lesson, let's create a simple switch. So uh, for this, let's just create first a frame that is around 24 by 24. Then let's add another one, but this one, maybe it's uh, 48 by 24. So 48 on the width, maybe 40 actually. Let's give it a stroke. Let's put this stroke outside. And now one more thing that I'm going to add is the thing that activates, the thing that says it's active. And I'm going to add another color to it, just like a blue color. And I'm going to put it behind what we created before. Once we actually turn it on, let's duplicate this and let's create the next state. Let's put the little scrubber all the way to the right. And let's also move this little guy. Let's grow it and let's make it grow to the size of the main container. So now we have two different states, the off and the on. And now let's turn these into components, two different components. And now, once they're components, I can select them and combine as variants. And now that they're variants, I can go into prototyping. Let's go into prototype and let's just start with the off one. And let's add one event that says like, yo, when I click it, I want it to turn on. And I'm going to say that instead of instant, I'm going to say that smart animate. So it animates smartly. And then the opposite from here, I'm going to say that when it goes back, it just like smarts animates, it eases out. 300 milliseconds, I think it's too much. Let's do 200 milliseconds. Let's do the other side, the same over here, 200 milliseconds. That should be feel good. And now this is a component, but in the component there's animations inside. And now we can add another frame. Let's add another frame and let's put this little switch that we just created. Let's put it in here and let's just center it and let's play the prototype. And now let's turn it on, boom. It turns on, turns off, but all of this is happening in the same page. I didn't have to create multiple artboards. The cool thing is that I could have, I don't know, I could have a ton of switches here if I wanted to, which is pretty cool, like in settings pages and stuff like that. It's really nice to have like multiple interactive components in it. So let's go in here and look at that. You can have multiple switches. This is pretty cool.